First up, we have some breaking news coming in from the world of cricket. Well, the selectors have been selected. As was being reported over the last few days, Mohinder Ramarnath has, however, been given the boot by the BCCI. Amarnath was part of the committee for just one year. Vikram Rathore will now be replacing him. And joining us with the latest is my colleague Rasesh Mandani from Mumbai. Rasesh, any word you're getting from the BCCI? Why has Amarnath been booted out? As, I, as we speak, Mohinda, the selection committee meeting is on, but uh, what we've been gathered from our sources is that uh, Mohinder Ramanath is set to lose his job. Uh, remember, Ramanath uh, was appointed as a selector of the North Zone last time around uh, on the condition that he would be made the chief selector next time around. But uh, a lot has uh, uh, transpired since uh, Amarnath is known to be a strong, opinionated man. Uh, he's, he's obviously uh, a World Cup winning player and, and a, a lot of the opinions that he shared in the previous selection committee did not uh, you know, find favour with the BCCI. At, uh, after the uh, Australia debacle, he was also of the opinion that uh, Captain Dhoni should be sacked. And for uh, you know these opinions, uh, obviously the BCCI uh, for, would foresee a problem in the days to come if Amarnath was to be appointed as the chief selector. So I think it's primarily the BCCI top bosses who are not too keen on him retaining the top job. Which obviously means that uh, there would be a new chief selector. What we've also been able to gather as far as the other selectors are concerned is that uh, Roger Bini is set to become the selector from the South Zone, it remains to be seen if he would be appointed the chief selector or there could be a, uh, still be a surprise. As far as uh, the East Zone goes, Sabah Karim is coming up, coming across as a top uh, runner. For the West Zone, uh, is, there's a fight between uh, Karsan Gauri, backed by the Saurashtra Trade Association, the MCA, going in for uh, former India steamer Abe Kurvela. Uh, so the, and, and Vikram Rathor, like you said, uh, said to replace uh, uh, Mohinder Ramana. So that's the way it uh, you know it looks at the moment. There's obviously a lot of uh, 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 you know, interest as far as the associations uh, backing them and for the selection committee post is concerned because remember now it's a paid job, not necessarily an honorary job as it Absolutely. was in, in the previous years. But also, uh, if you can take us through, Rasesh, who all are the other people who are in the running and by when will the selection committee be finalized? As we speak, the BCCI AGM is on, and uh, you know there's obviously a lot of items on the agenda. It would it, it would be wrapped up in, in in the next hour or so, in all probability. And you know, like I ran through the other uh, possible selectors, uh, uh, it, it's essentially I think the new selection committee has obviously got the task of uh, of uh, you know helping the, the, the Indian team uh, uh, come up with better performances mm -hmm. overseas. Uh, the, the credibility is also being looked upon by the, the BCCI, and you know I think that would be the primarily the agenda. The We've seen over the years that a lot of uh, associations push their men, but this time around, like I said, it's, it's a paid selection process uh, where the yeah. selectors now get paid 40 lakh for a year and the chief selector gets a crore for a year. Uh, there would be a lot more accountability and you know that factor would be also taken into consideration when making uh, the final process. Right, Rasesh, do stay on with us. We are also joined by our sports editor, Gaurav Kala. Gaurav, do you think that this is something that the players would be happy about, the replacement of uh, Mahinder Amarnath with Vikram Rathor? Look, as far as the players are concerned, I don't think they really take too much interest in who is the chief selector or who are the selectors. As far as the players are concerned, Meghna, they just get down with the business of playing and performing at the domestic level and then, of course, at the international level if they're picked. As far as uh, Mohinder Ramanath is concerned, I think one of the factors uh, that has also gone against him as far as being a selector is the fact that he doesn't really enjoy too much support within his home zone, which is, of course, the North Zone. He represents the North Zone as a selector. And even within the North Zone, he doesn't have too many people uh, who back him. And one of the main reasons for that is that people within the North Zone feel, officials within the North Zone feel, that Mohimba Amarnath spends too much time in Mumbai, too much time in the West, and he does not really spend enough time in the North Zone, in Punjab, in Delhi, to actually have a look at the players in that in that particular zone. And I think that's a big grouse that uh, officials within the North Zone have against Mohinder mm -hmm. Ramanath. As far as the BCCI is concerned, like Rasesh has already rightly pointed out, he's a man who's very, very opinionated. He's a man who does not mind ruffling some feathers. And I think that is mm -hmm. something the BCCI has never really been fond of over the years. And I mm -hmm. think uh, that is one of the reasons why we are seeing Mohinder Ramanath being axed after a single year. Another reason is the fact that now the selectors are a professional lot. They are paid for their services. It's yeah. no longer an honorary post. So the BCCI feels that if we are paying these guys, if the side is not delivering, then we can get rid of some of these selectors. Absolutely. And I think Mohinder Ramanath is one man who's paid the price for not just the, the fact that the team did really badly in Australia and England, but also mm -hmm. the fact that he's someone who does not mind ruffling feathers, does not mind towing an anti-BCCI line. And I think he's paying the price for that.